Hello, my name is Spindimus, and in this video we're going to be learning about defining the head and body of an HTML document. If you want to follow along, the link is in the description down below. Let's begin. You can add another level of organization in your HTML document within the HTML tags with the head and body elements. Any markup with information about your page would go into the head tag then any markup with the content of the page what displayed user would go into the body tag. Metadata elements such as link, meta, title, and style typically go inside the head element. Example of a page's layout. And they show between the head tags and between the body tags. There. Edit the markup so there's a head and a body tag. The head element should only include the title and the body element should only include the H1 and the P. So here you have your code and we're gonna create a head tag here. And it's going to wrap around the title. We'll have a closing head tag there. And then we'll go down here to the H1. And we're going to create a body tag there. And it needs to go down after the P here. And we'll put the forward slash body. And let's see the challenge objectives. There should be only one head element on the page. We have that here. There should be only one body element on the page. We have that there. The head element should be a child of the HTML element, which I'm not exactly sure how to do that, but it looks like it is. The body element should be a child of the HTML element. I think it has to be kind of inside. I'm not sure if indentation really matters here, but I'll just line it all up on the same indentation. You know. The head element should wrap around the title element, which it does. And the body element should wrap around both the H1 and the P elements, which it does. So we'll run the test. And Thundercat, oh, we are 100% complete with the section on basic HTML and HTML5. Congratulations, everybody. Give yourself a pat on the back. This was a tough section if you're new to code, I know. I'm learning stuff along the way as well. We're going to move on to the next section, which is the CSS section. So if you like this, you're going to want to continue on through there on your own pace or even just follow the series. You know, if you have if you have someone to code with. And now I'll go to the outro. So thank you for watching. If you feel this video was helpful or you liked it, then click the like button. If you want to see more content like this, then subscribe. And if you have any questions, post them in the comments down below. I am Finimus, and I will see you later. Have a good day, everybody.